Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I don't even have my ring on right now. I got my belt on. Don't know if you can even see that in video. But um, I noticed that when I was editing this video uh, that it was really long between the ring and the belt. So I'm going to leave that one up there as the long video, but I'm going to do some short videos as well. So I'm going to have one on just the ring and just the belt. So that's what this video is going to be. So whichever one you're watching, go watch the other one if you want to find out more about the belt or the ring. Let's get to it. Well, I've seen an awful lot of videos on these groove rings and groove belts. And uh, from what I've seen, a lot of them were uh, given these things. So sometimes when you watch videos where people are given stuff, you question whether or not some of them are the truth. And uh, so I will tell you, I bought this ring and I bought this belt. Now I did get them on sale during the uh, holidays. Uh, I don't remember, it was, I think it was for Christmas. It was a Christmas good deal kind of thing. Basically, if you bought a ring, you could get a belt for free, or vice versa, or you could get two rings, or you could get two belts. And they were, I don't know exactly how much, I will put the price below. Um, but anyhow, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on them, because I've been kind of looking at them. I watched a few YouTube videos about them. And quite honestly, uh, as far as the ring is concerned, that is what I've been looking at. When they said you could get a belt for free, I was like, hey, why not, let's try it out. Um, but I really wanted this ring for a couple reasons. One, it is rubber. Um, which I will say that's one of the downfalls. It's a little hard to get off sometimes. You get a little wet and it comes off easy. So I gave you a little tip right up front. Uh, anyways, it's, it's rubber. It squishes. Um, so I like that because... When I was doing a rock climbing many, many, many years ago, when I could still do things like that, um, up in one of the grab hooks, somebody had actually broken a bottle and put pieces of uh, bottle, broken bottle down inside of one of them. And when I grabbed a hold of it, uh, my actually it was with this hand, when I grabbed a hold of it, my uh, hand slipped off and then I was left hanging from my ring finger trying to hold on, um, which kind of messed it up, popped it out of the socket, and also caused me not to be able to wear my wedding ring anymore. So uh, there you are. If you think you're just pulling a prank, you could really, really hurt somebody for the first part there. But regardless, beyond that, like I said, many years ago, um, I've been looking at these because I wanted something that was more soft. Because I just can't wear a ring, one of the hard rings anymore at all, uh, for very long. Uh, it really bugs me. Uh, second of all, as a mechanic, having rubber instead of a regular ring is nice because of a couple things. If you're doing electronics, you, want, you have to take your wedding ring off. You should take your wedding ring off if you're doing electrical work. Um, which I've done home electrical as well as automotive electrical stuff, so... Um, win win there. Uh, with these, they don't, you're not going to grab a hold of a, well, you still can shock yourself, but it's not going to conduct as well. Um, thirdly, I've also worked in areas where I worked around forklifts and very heavy equipment and very heavy things like that. And with regular rings, yet again, you crush them on there, you can lose your finger with this. Uh, you're, if you break your finger, I've done that. I've broke my finger before actually and had a, I luckily got my ring off before it swelled up. But uh, you can have problems with that as well. And it can actually, unless you get it cut off real quick, really hurt you and even lose your finger. So another upside to these rings. Now, um, as far as the actual wearing it, do I like it and the belt as well? I know I've gone into the ring quite a bit, um, but it was what I was really looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these off and we'll take a closer look at them. Here we go. Um, as far as the ring, I've already told you quite a bit of this. About the only thing I see um, that I've noticed with this is that um, it's a little hard to get off and on uh, if it's dry. And... If you get it wet, it, I don't like the feeling of wetness behind the ring, in between the ring and my finger, so I tend to 
wash my hands, get it wet, pull it off, and uh, let it dry for a while. But um, B is that if I'm out and, and I don't want to take the ring off and I need to wash my hands, I do that. And it doesn't cause any problems. I just don't like the feel. Now, the other thing I have noticed is that out in public, uh, lately we've been using a lot of hand sanitizers and washing our hands a lot. And uh, I have noticed with hand sanitizer um, that it will actually swell a little bit for a little while. Um, so you want to pay attention to that if you are out and use some hand sanitizer. Um, it can actually get slippery. I have not lost it yet to the point where it will fly off, but um, just be aware of that. As well as I use the Gojo or um, hand cleaners, those uh, orange hand cleaners uh when working on cars and uh have noticed that it also causes it to swell up a little bit so i don't know if there's some alcohol or something in that as well but as far as comfort um i've never had a ring that was this comfortable before i did notice when i first started wearing it um in between here um it feels almost like a little i would wouldn't call it sticky but it definitely is it's rubber so it has kind of a grip to it that's a better word for it bit of a grip so i did notice that felt a little weird but i've gotten pretty well used to that um haven't had too many problems with that as well um you know like i said taking it off and on is probably the the hardest part um i do tend to take uh, it off at night just because I just I don't I've never been a real big ring fan uh, rings and watches I just don't like the feel of all that much but quite honestly this is definitely the most comfortable ring I've ever owned um, so take that from somebody who doesn't really enjoy wearing rings much I have actually uh, used brake clean and carb clean uh, while using wearing this um i actually did that right off the bat just to see because it i whoop because i do believe it says uh that it is okay with that stuff quite honestly it's been so long since i looked at the the information on it i don't remember but i have used carburetor cleaner and brake cleaner with this a couple of times now and had no problems with it um so and it and it does like i said it does when you use alcohol and hand sanitizers or brake cleaner it, it it swells up a little bit so that it's um more loose i would say on the finger but it does contract back down to where it's supposed to be so um i have not found i had any problem i haven't found that it's caused any issues with the color or the feel of it, it it all you know it, it goes right back to where it should be once it kind of dries out and uh, doesn't have that chemical now yet again if you're going to be using a lot of chemicals I can't guarantee it's going to last forever but the few times I've used it and it's actually been two or three times I've used carb cleaner um, that it, it didn't didn't affect at all and I did make sure I you know kind of actually hosed it a little bit just to kind of see what would happen and it didn't hurt it at all so to each their own on that one and yet again i would totally buy the 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 wedding ring uh again the ring because you know i've been wanting this um i would go ahead and pay 50 bucks for that all day um you're never going to find a ring for 50 bucks or less that's probably as you know user friendly as this one i will say it's yet again I paid for these products and I am extremely happy I did. I'm very glad I got it for the 50 bucks because now I have no doubt that for both of these, the $50 was well worth the money out there. And I, it's a very high quality, very good, well manufactured product. I'm not sure if it comes from the United States or not. Uh, you'll have to do your own research on that. If I see something, I might put it below but uh regardless it's i believe a u.s company that is selling these to people at least putting some people to work and uh and it's a high quality product that i would i would easily spend the extra money so yet again keep an eye out on the, during around the holidays they might have this well the reason you're just looking at the ring here is because uh i already put the belt on my pants and didn't realize that uh, when I went in that video, the SD card filled up or the battery went away or something happened and 
I didn't get the end. So I was about to say, if you keep an eye out around the holidays, which admittedly Valentine's just went by and I uh, wasn't able to get back to this soon enough, but I did look at them when I was editing this video and uh, noticed they had even, I think, a little better deal for Valentine's Day for the belts and rings. So keep an eye around the holidays. They seem to have, uh, you know, pretty much two for the price of one type deals. Um, and uh, depending on what you're looking for, if you just want one or the other, they're pretty cheap. So regardless, uh, you can go check them out. I am very happy with mine. Um, and hopefully you can find a good deal. If not, like I said, I think they're pretty well worth the price. Um, maybe a little bit more than I would want to pay normally for things, but these days nothing is cheap. So in that case, thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master none. You all have a good one.